Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. In this episode, I'm going to give you 27 amazing Photoshop presets for free. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. My name is Serge Romilly. I'm a French photographer from the amazing, the romantic, the incredible city of Paris, France, living in Los Angeles, California. There was a major update to Photoshop uh, recently where you can really now use the power of presets. And I want to show you all about that. And for this, I'm going to give you 27 of some of my best presets for free. Now, I got a professional pack, which you can purchase down below this video. But all I'm showing you is only using my free presets. And here you are. All right, guys, I'm very excited to give you this 27 Photoshop preset for free. And um, I've never really used preset in Photoshop because it didn't really work well because it couldn't save local adjustment up to a few weeks ago. So for this to work, you have to use a version of Camaro in Photoshop that's pretty recent. Uh, I'm using, let me see, so I'm going to double click on that just to give you an idea. I am going to be using Photoshop about Camaro. Right now I'm using version 10.4, okay? Uh, you need to update your camera roll for this to work. You need to also have Lightroom installed. We're not going to use Lightroom. We're just going to use Lightroom to install a preset. There is other ways around uh, using Lightroom to install a preset, but it does not always work well. So I'll show you that. But let me show you first the power of the preset I'm giving you. So this is like a nice sunset photo I shot in Corsica a while back. And now I'm going to go to my preset. I've installed the preset. I'm going to go to Search Basic. And I'm going to call, I'm going to use basic sunset. And as I over the, my mouse, boom, check this out. It did a major retouching. I can still go back to my basic settings and I can still adjust. I'm like, oh, maybe it's a little too, you know, too yellow. Maybe add a bit more blue. Um, so voila, I can completely change like the, you know, the temperature. I can make it, you know, uh, a little more blue. I can even add a gradient if I want. And on this gradient, I'm not going to lower the exposure. I might add a little bit of blue. You know, a preset is a starting point, but it's a cool starting point, you know. And uh, voila, you can click on the end to go out of that. Let me show you the before. P, before. P is for the before. P is for the after. Check this out. Quite amazing. Okay, let me show you an example. And I'm going to give you, by the way, this raw file and the 27 presets for free. All you have to do is click the link under the video. Okay, next one. I'm going to go back to Bridge. I'm going to take this one. This is a photo I shot in Switzerland. So same thing. I'm going to go to the second before last tab. And on this one, I'm going to use the bad weather preset. Look at that. The bad weather preset. They were great in Lightroom. Uh, I think, you know, just the bad weather. I use them to add color to bad weather photo. So here I am, I can go back to the basic settings. So you gotta be careful because some of my presets also have local tools into it. So for example, if I click here, you can see I've applied a gradient, but it's not in the right position. So you can just move it around and make it in the right position, something like this. So there is a gradient, but you know, you just have to move it around. This one is also not in the right. It's very easy to move. You just, you know, move this around. I like to have a gradient to close my photos so that the attention of the viewer goes inside. Uh, let's see here, this one I'm gonna make it a bit stronger, something like this, and I can go, you click on the end here to go back to the basic settings, that's what I do. Contrast, maybe add even more contrast, lower the exposure, add a bit of clarity if you want to. Check it out, before, P, after, you know, maybe the clarity doesn't work, but you get the idea. So now let me give you another example, I'm gonna cancel out of this, I'm gonna go back to bridge, Again, I'm giving you all these raw files so you can play around with and all the 27 preset. Uh, so this one is really screaming for black and white. So I'm going to go here and I'm giving you all my black and white presets. So preset, check this out. It's a black and white series. So uh, AA stands for Ansel Adams. That's between you and me. And um, I'm going to go maybe to... And if you hover the preset, you can see what it does. Okay, I'm going to take the middle one. Look at that. And then you can go here. And you can adjust, you know, the gradients. You know, you always have to adjust the gradients. But also on some of the presets, I'm also using radial circles. So you have to click on the circle and you see and position the circle at the right place. Maybe this one, it makes things a bit brighter. So this one I'm going to put, you know, here so that I focus the attention of the photo on the viewer. This just breaks the gradients here. Maybe this one I can position it here. And this one, I can position it here. So sometimes when you have like a, a graded filter like this one, you see it darkens the top of that statue. 
so what you can do is you can select it and there's a new option in camera right now which is here called range mask and if you go to luminance and you move this slider to the right you see what's going to happen is that the gradient is still going to be effective but it's not going to affect the statue anymore isn't that cool isn't that cool okay i can go click on the end to go back to the general settings click on this for the module settings and then maybe lower the exposure if i'm going a little too fast you can check out I've got a lot of tutorials on how to use camera. This is really just gear to preset. And I can make the horizon straight, but you get the idea. Let me show you the before, P4, before, after, before, after. Okay, I think I have one more example for you guys. And uh, let's go back to bridge. Oh yeah, this one I shot in New Zealand, a little lone exposure. So same thing, I'm gonna go here. On this one, maybe I use one of the bad weather. Uh, maybe I use one of the bad weather. Yeah, bad weather three, I think I'm gonna use. On this one you see the same thing i've got a graded filter it darkens the top of the of the of the trees there so i'm going to go here into my graded filter select it go to range mask luminance and maybe just take that out a little bit yes okay and then what's well, actually pretty well positioned okay maybe a little bit of a gradient yeah you really don't want to i don't want to darken too much the trees there and then this one i can position it also how i want you know you just move it around like this okay and then i can go click on the end to go back to general settings click on the first tab and then on this one maybe i'm going to lower the exposure a little bit to make it more dramatic oh yes i love that check it out before after before after you know it was a lone exposure but now i got all the sky and if you think it's too dramatic you know you can just increase and maybe lower the highlights you know some people find i do too much dramatic stuff so i can go less dramatic like this you know or i can even lower the contrast and go much less dramatic or you know whatever whatever it please you but the preset is going to give you a cool i mean it's 27 different free preset now so that's what i want to show you now how do you install them well there is two ways you can go here and you can click this little menu and click on load settings but the problem is yet you you're going to load one after the other so I'm going to go on my desktop and that's what I'm going to give you for free. It's this folder called Photoshop Camera Preset and you see this 27 folder, 27 preset there. So I could you know, click one and click load and then do that 27 times. Or uh, you can go to Lightroom and in Lightroom you can go to your preset develop uh, section. Even if you don't use Lightroom, just open Lightroom, go to develop, find the preset um, panel here click on the plus and uh, import preset and this time you can select all the preset boom you import it and that's going to update it for lightroom and it that's going to update it for photoshop so it's just a quick way for you to import all the preset there is other ways where you can directly go into the right folder uh, into uh, your system but that does not always work i've had a lot of issues with that so well let me show you again the before and after this one so i'm going to give you all the raw files and the 27 preset for free so you can try out please do not sell my photos and do not resell my preset this is just for you for you to train to see how i retouch my photos and then you know adapt them to your own liking oh by the way guys i'm going to be doing a whole bunch of workshop uh, i've got two workshops coming up in los angeles and then one in venice one in florence uh, and one in paris so if you want to come and join me and take some photos it's each workshop is four days i would love you know to see how you take photos look through your camera help you set up your camera and then retouch the photo with you this is limited to 10 people and you can economize up to a thousand dollar if you book now so the link is below the video and by the way guys if you like this video please give it a little like you know it really helps me also, if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, just click on the subscribe button and on the little bell so you get a notification every time I do a free video. And I can't wait to see you in my next video, mesdames et messieurs. Au revoir.